They're called the Super Talls. Those ultra-high skyscrapers built with the most advanced methods and mega machines. Tower cranes that can lift up to 18 tons of steel and concrete. Excavators that carve a crater several stories deep. And GPS-guided earth movers with laser control systems for precision grading. It's impossible to imagine building these modern constructions without the latest and cutting-edge technology. And yet, ancient builders were able to lift 15-ton blocks more than 40 stories and design an elaborate underground water system high up in the Andes. Thousands of years later, we're still trying to learn the secrets to their monumental success. Gazing at the Great Pyramid of Giza, there's no doubt the ancient Egyptians were masters of engineering and design. It's the largest pyramid ever built. The 4,500-year-old burial chamber rises over 480 feet and is made of more than 2.4 million limestone blocks, each weighing between 2 and 15 tons. Archaeologists and other scholars have been puzzling over Giza's construction for more than a century. How they managed to move those monster blocks of limestone across the desert sands is still up for debate. A team from the University of Amsterdam recently used physics to test what they think the early Egyptians may have done. The theory is based on tomb paintings that show a sledge was used to transport heavy objects. The limestone blocks would be placed on the sledge, but dragging something that heavy across dry sand would get stuck easily. The Dutch physicists experimented with water, wetting the sand with just the right amount of liquid so that capillary bridges would form. These bridges are extremely small water droplets that glue together individual grains of sand. By using this technique, the amount of pulling force could be cut in half. While getting the giant blocks to Giza was one challenge, lifting and then placing them together in near-perfect symmetry was another. Most archaeologists believe the pyramid's foundation was built using an external ramp but an intriguing new theory looks at the possibility that the pyramid was built from the inside out. A recently discovered chamber has led some to believe that a spiraling interior tunnel, like a parking garage, may have been used to haul the blocks to the upper levels of the pyramid. While the Egyptians had pyramid building down to a science, the Incans were masters at hydro engineering. Machu Picchu is their crowning achievement. Perched 8,000 feet in the Peruvian Andes, many archaeologists believe it was built as a royal estate for emperors and noblemen. And it's what you don't see that makes this iconic structure such an engineering marvel. High up in the Andes, earthquakes, heavy rains, mudslides, and soil erosion are a constant threat. A team of American hydrologists and archaeologists discovered that the ancient Incans were well aware of the dangers. They built a sophisticated drainage system underground, below rows of terraces designed to hold the mountain in place. They started with large stones, followed by a layer of gravel, then a layer of sandy dirt, and finally a rich layer of topsoil. Even with a lot of rain, floods aren't an issue at Machu Picchu because the water filters down through the layers. And because the water seeps into the ground at a controlled rate, there's almost no erosion. To help remove rainwater from the stairways and streets, the Incans built a series of 130 drains throughout the city, 
diverting much of the water to the central plaza. And here's where it gets really interesting. Incan engineers added a thicker fourth layer. It was made of white stone chips, leftovers from their building sites, and extended nine feet below the surface. This central system covered several acres and allowed large amounts of water to drain, leaving Machu Picchu high and dry, just the way they intended. Early civilizations relied heavily on astronomy, using the sun and stars as their guide. Stonehenge is a perfect example. This legendary ancient European monument was built in stages, starting some 4,500 years ago. Much about its construction remains a mystery. Like the Great Pyramid of Giza, Historians are still not sure how the colossal sandstone blocks made the 20-mile journey from their quarry to the site. Some stand up to 24 feet high and weigh over 45 tons. But here's what they do know. What makes Stonehenge so remarkable is the precision of its design. The middle of the stone circle is built on the axis of the summer solstice. Right around June 21st, the longest day of the year, a shaft of light from the morning sunrise streams through the center of the circle. Directly opposite, the same thing happens on the shortest day of the year in December, when the light at sunset streams in. Archaeologists aren't sure whether the alignment was originally designed for planting cycles, calendar keeping, or religious ceremonies. Every new clue leads to a new set of unanswered questions. Stonehenge, Machu Picchu, the Great Pyramid of Giza. They may have been built using simple tools, but the genius behind their engineering and design has clearly stood the test of time.